my name is Asia. I'm also known as the Sassy Math Teacher. In this quick little video, I'm going to be showing you how to use the task card template. So when you open the PDF, you will see some instructions. And I'm gonna cover up my face for just a moment. You'll see instructions. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is add your questions, add a title to your recording sheet, and then you will be making your answer key, okay? The next slide is where you will make a copy of the task card template in Google Slides. So you just click that and then this will open. Select make a copy. Doop, 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 doop. All right, so you'll notice that there are 20 task cards and over to the left in the navigation pane, you won't see any text. However, when you actually click on them, you will see these boxes. Well, that's because these are boxes where you quickly add your text to them relatively easily, easily. Um, anyways, so if you are a science teacher, you can do something science related, like who started the cell theory? <laughs> it's a very bad question. Um, the other thing you may notice is that this font may not be a font that you have. So by default, I've selected the font Poppins. And if you want to use that same font, just go up to click the font, choose more fonts, and then you'll just need to type Poppins here and then select it. So like I have it selected already, but if I select it, it'll have a check mark and then it'll be added for you. And that way you can easily have the same text. If you want, you can change the fonts, but unfortunately you'll have to change it for each slide. So that'll take a little bit more time. Okay, so just repeat that step for all 20 slides. Well, don't repeat adding the font because it'll already be there but you know what i mean this one you will need to add in your title so if this was all about um cell theory then you would type that here um you may want to capitalize it you may want to change the font change the color what did i just press change the color whatever Okay, and this is what you will print for your students if you choose to use a recording sheet. And I actually use these recording sheets for like everything, even if I'm not doing task cards. It's an easy way to have students track their work. Um, and then here is your answer key. So you would also do cell theory and the answer to number one, Robert Hooke. <laughs> All right, so that's for science, but you can do this with math, language arts, history, music class, I assume, probably. Um, and you can easily add in some pictures here, some clip art if you'd like. Um, get creative. If you have any questions for me, you can reach me on Instagram is the quickest, but you can also send me an email, asia at thesassymathteacher.com. I hope you enjoy.